How's it going everybody? Been a little bit, but here we are back with another video. So between work being extremely crazy, I feel like I say that more and more, I've also been getting back to kind of my childhood Pokemon roots. So while it's been a little bit since I've been in this room sorting through comics, when I do get some time after work, I've been ripping packs and enjoying my much cheaper side of my childhood hobbies. That said, I finally started wrapping up, cleaning up in this room a little bit, making space. It's been a bit of a cluster the last couple weeks, but I've had this stack of comics probably for over a month now that were from, I think, I know there's a good amount of Joe from 360 Comics. I got some awesome Hulk books in that pile from him. Other than that, I don't even remember what's in this pile. So I know I have some Hulk. I can see some Batman Detective right on top. So I know some of these are brand new books to the collection. Other ones are, if you've seen my other videos, they are upgrades to books I already have. But other than that, I have no idea what is in this pile of books other than all that Hulk I got. So today, we're going to go ahead and dive in and see what I have and finally go over this haul. So let's get into it. All right, so as I mentioned before, we had this beautiful Detective Comics number 386 right on top. This is an issue I already own, but this is very much an upgrade to the copy that I already have. of Wonder Woman issue 194. This is a series I've been getting into a little bit more, a little bit more, and it's very much just those iconic 15 cent issues that almost everybody's after. Anybody that's not already just a hardcore Wonder Woman fan, this is generally the area that a lot of them try to target, and I'm right in that with everybody. This is a gorgeous book. All of the books around that era are just extremely collectible. The artwork is beautiful. I love this book. Comics number 359. These ones again, I think, were either ones I did not have or were just upgrades to the ones I already had in my collection. Adventure Comics 345. Beautiful black cover right here. Everybody's a big fan of those nice black covers so the colors can really pop. And sticking with that theme, we have Adventure Comics 333. A little bit more wear in the top corner right here, but still overall not bad for the year it came out. All right, and now it's looking like we're getting into that Hulk I talked about. So before I mentioned, I got these all from Joe at 360 Comics. He was doing an Instagram Live claim sale, and I just went ham. I, would, I had a mental checklist of everyone I still needed for my Hulk run, and I was just rapid fire on these that day. I forget how many I ended up with, but we're going to find out together. And it starts off with issue 190, this awesome fight rainbow bridge cover background right here. Extremely cool Hulk cover. We have issue 199. I'm always a big fan every time you have Hulk with Doc Samson on the cover together. Great comic right here. I love the duo. 189. Again, just Mole Man versus the Hulk really showing off that size compared to all these little bugs we got in the background here. Really cool cover. Everything I love about the Hulk. Issue 183. And I forget if I mentioned, but almost all of these were at least very fine to near mint, near mint minus. There might have been one in there that was a bit lower, but overall, these things were in extremely great condition, which is why I just started hammering down and buying every one that he hit on that wall. I was extremely happy to see the prices he had for the grade he had. Issue 187, awesome Hulk defeated cover right here. And again, I love the colors they use. The different shades of green and yellows that they use with both the Hulk and his background and trade dresses always make any, even the most insignificant covers, just pop and be that much more fun to stare at. Issue 188, just another high-grade beauty. I really love the artwork and the styling they have on this one here. 177, again, everything I've already mentioned. This one, again, just another beautiful high-grade copy of an amazing book. Issue 166, and I think that's the last one, unless there's a couple of stragglers hiding in the bottom, which there might be. But so overall, not a bad, incredible Hulk haul. And again, all from Joe at 360 Comics. All in amazing, very fine and near mint, near mint minus condition. Extremely happy to fill a lot of the holes in my incredible Hulk run. Now this book, I also remember very much so I also got from Joe. It's the only Spectre I was able to grab, issue number 10. And I do already have this book, but this is way, way, way higher grade than the copy I have. Like the Hulks, this is another amazing condition right here. And the Spectre covers the artwork on every single one of them. Every cover is a standout and a knockout. So the higher grade I can get for that run, especially because the first initial run isn't that long, I'll always snag these books. Then I have issue number 256 of Wonder Woman. 
So this one again, in addition to, I'm pretty sure I also got this from Joe, in addition to it being Wonder Woman and high grade, anybody that's been following me long enough knows that I am a huge fan of the Royal Flush Gang. So in addition to having multiple copies of their first appearance in Justice League of America, any random crossover title issues like Teen Titans, Wonder Woman, anything that has Royal Flush on the cover, I snag them every single time. It's one of those weird little niche collections that I have going on, so I had to grab this one. All right, Santa, we're actually back to Incredible Hulk, so I'm not positive, but most of this whole pile might all be from Joe at 360 Comics. So either way, let's get right back into it with issue 177. Again, beautiful, high-grade, Incredible Hulk versus Warlock cover. Every battle cover, doesn't matter who it is, is always awesome to have in the collection. And Exhibit A, issue 159, an incredible, incredible Hulk versus the Abomination cover right here. Super clean, especially for a white cover copy. Normally, even if you get one in pretty good shape, you see the tanning start to set in. But this thing is bright and glistening. Awesome, awesome book to add to the collection. Then we have issue 154. Hell is a very small Hulk. And here you have him battling a giant rat right here. You got little Ant-Man riding, who knows, maybe it's Antony on the cover right there helping him out. Awesome, awesome square picture frame cover right here. Initially wasn't a fan of, no matter what the title, these square picture frame, but they've really grown on me the more I've started to collect more as an adult. Issue 132, and again, just another one where I love you have the baby blue bottom offset against that deep dark red of the top of the cover right here. Just an awesome contrast this one plays with. I have a random Teen Titans book with issue 44. Now this is a run I'm collecting, but I have no idea if this was also from his claim sale or if this was from somewhere else. Like I said, it's been well over a month since I've actually gone back to this pile from the day I opened them up, so I forget what's in it, I forget where they came from, but given that this is also extremely high grade and it's tucked in that pile, it's probably from Joe also. Then I have Justice League of America, issue 139. Just another awesome one I needed to go in my Justice League of America collection. Avengers, issue 160. This is one that I'm picking up every so often. I'm not, like as I mentioned many times before, actively hunting down a lot of the Avengers books. But it is a run that I like to collect on the side. So any that I come across that are either an amazing price or amazing grade... I am picking them up and I have a little mini Avengers collection going, so this is just kind of one more in the cap. Issue 225, another awesome Avengers cover. I just love this one right here, the layout of it, the way you have kind of the gold adorned Marvel Comics group up top, all of the Avengers going around the main focus of Black Knight, who takes the center of the cover focus right there. Really cool cover right here for the Avengers books. And apparently we have a couple more to round it off. We're back to the Incredible Hulk with issue 114, back in the 12 cent era. And again, while I'm not a fan of the Sandman's look that they chose here, that it didn't last long, I can go back and appreciate it more. And anytime I see him like this, I now have a nostalgic feel for it because it reminds me of the old era of books. So you have Sandman and what looks like the Mandarin versus the Hulk right here. This is a good example of what I mentioned earlier, where it's a white cover that is an amazing shape, but this one very much does have some tanning to that, where the white is not as bright, it's not as vibrant, but the book overall is still in really great shape. And to end this video off, we have issue 117 of The Incredible Hulk, just an awesome Hulk versus the leader, extraordinarily high-grade cover right here. This thing is amazing, and I love... Again, some of the book's condition is what it is, but this one right here, when it's in this high grade and you can really appreciate all of the colors, the artwork, the contrast, that there's a lot going on down below, but it's also a little simple up top, so the high grade helps accentuate and make that really pop. So, amazing, amazing run of books right here. Super exciting to go back and see everything I have, and now that I've actually wrapped it up, it looks like each and every one of these just may have been from Joe at 360 Comics. All right, everybody, so there we have it. Just a good old-fashioned haul video. Exciting for me also, since from the day I opened these books, honestly, it could have been one to two months ago, and they've just been sitting right there waiting. I still have to go through and rebag and board them. I have my uh, Mylars and my Fullbacks, which 
for me is one of the most exciting parts. I like to just sit in this room, I'll play some YouTube videos, and just read bag and board. Whether it's my comic books, my Pokemon cards, which I also sleeve up and get my binders going. The organization part is just as fun for me as the getting it in and actually owning it part. So, thank you guys for checking this video out. If you're ever looking for more content in between videos, like I said in my last few, I am much, much more active on my Instagram now, Conlin's Comics. And there's a little bit of variety. It's not just comics. There's a lot of comics, a lot of Pokemon, other hobbies going on, life outside of this. So if you just want to see a little bit more about what goes on with me outside of or in between videos, check that out. But as always, until next time.